Hi guys, my name is Bas and today we're gonna discuss episode number 39 of my SPSS tutorial videos. And today we're gonna talk about a quite a difficult subject which is the mixed linear model. Uh, which is a part of an ANOVA, but it's quite a difficult one. And today we have this data set over here which you can now see in front of you. And you can see that the first variable is respondent number. And you can see that the first eight times is respondent number one. So all these, so all these respondents, one to eight, all belong to respondent number one. Then there is a time variable, which is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And burnout, which means to what extent you experience burnout, uh, uh, burnout, um, symptoms. And what we're gonna measure today is whether the Burnout, uh, burnout, uh, symptoms decrease over time. So if time increases from zero to one, one to two, two to three, etc., then the burnout symptoms decrease. But this, uh, this, uh, <laughs> uh, is in addition to the condition because the condition is going to be, uh, whether someone does fitness, someone does yoga or someone does nothing at all so they are in the control group and what the hypothesis states is that if you do fitness or yoga that your burnout uh, uh, symptoms decrease over time while if you're in the control condition so that you don't do yoga and you don't and you don't do fitness then you don't then your uh, burnout symptoms don't decrease over time and to make this even more complicated, it's moderated by sex, so by gender. So uh, the uh, the um, <clears throat> so the respondents are either men or female, and that is going to moderate the effect, as I just explained. And if we put this into a scheme over here, you can see that the main effect is from condition to burnout. So if your condition changes and you start doing yoga and doing uh, fitness then your burnout uh, symptoms decrease. And this is moderated by time, because over time, this, con uh, this affects changes. Because if time increases, so the, the second time and the third time and the fourth time, etc., then the burnout uh, will be lower for the conditions, yoga and fitness. And to make the freeway, this is a freeway interaction, to make it even more uh, sophisticated, then sex, also known as gender, is added to interact, so to moderate this moderation. So it's a freeway interaction, so a freeway moderation. So once again, we're gonna say that if you do yoga or fitness, your burnout uh, uh, symptoms decrease over time, and that this moderation is moderated by gender, so that this differs between men and women. And that's what we're going to find out today in SPSS. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our data set. We're going to go to analyze, to mixed models, and then linear. And then this first screen we're going to leave as it is. We don't have to add something here. Then we press continue. Then the dependent variable in this case is burnout. The factors are respondent number, time, condition, and sex. And then the fixed, uh, the fixed ones are time, condition, and sex. So we select the first one, and then you press shift, and you select the last one, and then you press add. And then what you can see is that SPSS immediately chooses the fixed variable, the fixed variables, and also interacts them. So make sure that it's also time, a uh, time, time sex, and time times condition, time sex, etc. And then you press continue. And then the random variable is going to be respondent number. So we select respondent number and press add. Then we press continue. Then the estimation we leave as it is. With statistics, we're going to select the parameter estimates for fixed effects. We press continue. And the estimated marginal means, we select all of them. And then press, uh, and then select them. And then we want to compare their main effects with Bonferroni. So we check this box and choose Bonferroni. Then we press continue. Then we press paste. And then you can see that this is a big, big syntax code because as I said, it's quite sophisticated. 
and then we can press the big green play button and then uh, uh, SPSS is gonna take a while to generate this so I will get back to you once it's uh, loaded all right and there we are and SPSS has finally loaded this very very big model we're gonna skip the model dimension and we're gonna look first of all at the information criteria and we're gonna take a look at the first one which is the minus two restricted log likelihood and this shows that the uh, this shows whether the model as a whole fits the data which you have and the lower the better so in this case it's 4890 uh, and the lower the better and you can if we would now make a new model with another variable then we could compare the minus two LLs of those uh, but in this case because we're only looking at this model it's not a very important value then the most important table is the fixed effects table and we're going to take a look at not at the intercept but at the effect of time the effect of condition so yoga or fitness the uh, effect of gender and the effect of the interactions and what you can see if we look at the f values is that they are quite high except of sex and that they are all significant except of sex so this means that time has a significant effect on burnout so that means that over time the burnout uh, symptoms decreased the conditions have a significant effect so that means that the, the three groups so burn uh, yoga fitness and the control group have a significantly different burnout symptoms to each other then the sex one is not significant which means that there is so but in burnout symptoms there was no significant difference between the men and the women then the time uh, times condition is significant so this means that the burnout symptoms over time so because it's a combination of those two that the uh, burnout uh, burnout symptoms over time for each of the conditions decreased because it's significant as well and then the last one we're going to take a look at is time times condition times sex which is also significant so that means that the freeway significance model uh, that the freeway uh, uh, that the freeway interaction model is significantly uh, is a significant moderator so if we go back to the model we can see that condition to burnout is significant time as a moderator is significant and sex as a freeway moderator is significant and time to burnout was significant as well only the direct effect of sex on burnout it was not significant but we aren't doing research on that right now so if you go back to SPSS <coughs> uh, and then we scroll down then you can take a look at all the uh, all the estimated marginal means and the pairwise comparisons of those so if you want to compare for example uh, time 0 with time 1 you can see that it has a significance level of 0 0.000 which is lower than the alpha of 0 0.05 so therefore it means that uh, they are uh, 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 that there's a significant difference between time number 0 and time number 1 uh, so in this way you can compare all the uh, different values for example the men have an uh, have a, a, a an average burnout symptoms of 4.492, while women have an a, have an estimate of 4.382, and that is a difference of if we look at the pairwise comparisons, we can see that the difference is 0.110, uh, and we can see that that difference is not significant because the significance level of the difference is 0.422 so therefore it is not significant because it's bigger than the alpha of 0 0.5, uh, 0.05 so if you would put this all into a graph I'm not going to show you guys how what the how to make this graph because it's uh, a bit difficult and a bit long it will, I'll do an, a special episode on that but if you would take a look at the graphs you can see the three conditions fitness yoga and the control group we can see that over time, you can see that the time increases, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we can see that there's a difference between the blue curve, which is men, and the green curve, which is females. And what you can then see for fitness, if 
the, uh, if you fitness, the burnout symptoms over time decrease. And if you do yoga, the burnout symptoms over time decrease. But we can also see that there's a difference between men and women. So, because, so for fitness, it's more effective for men. While with yoga, it's more effective for women. So therefore we can conclude that this freeway interaction from gender on the moderation of time on condition is significant. Okay, so I hope that this was helpful to you. It's, it is quite difficult, I have to agree. Uh, if this video was helpful to you, then please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Ciao.